This is a $400 Louis Vuitton fragrance, and this is a $300 Bon Number 9 fragrance. And they both cost less than $30 to make. I went to a GCMS lab on the University of Memphis campus to prove it. I got some fake bottles from DHK for around $40. We have Bon Number 9 Greenest Village, and we have Louis Vuitton Lovers. I threw all of them into the GCMS machine, which is basically the same technology that is used for a drug bust and criminal forensics. So yeah, this thing is serious. Here's where things got crazy. The fresh citrusy floral note in this fragrance is called Linalong. It's three cents, three pennies. The sweet warm coumarin is one cent. Ingredient by ingredient, I priced everything at market value. And when you add it up, the fragrance, basically when it's ready to be shipped out to the customer, the real LV cost 15 to $35 to produce. And the real bond number nine was even less than that. And yet, somehow, these bottles still happen to find a way to sell for $300, $400, $500 at a luxury boutique. If food or clothes were priced that high, people would riot. What's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Dan Warren Tafa. Fashion is my passion. I'm about that action. We've always heard that these fragrances were cheap to make. I'm talking about outsourced labor, massive markups. But until now, nobody had receipts. Those ingredients that you see on Fragantica, those are not the ingredients. So I wanted proof. So I went to a GCMS lab on the University of Memphis campus to meet up with Professor Gunner of the chemistry department and his graduate assistant, Mark Wilson, to find the truth. And here's what we found. For Louis Vuitton lovers, the real one, that sparkling opening people call French elegance. The GCMS machine showed it was mostly cheap turpins. The same building block that you find in cleaning products. Some of the ingredients in your luxury $400 Louis Vuitton fragrance are the same ingredients that are in your Dollar General cleaning products. <laughs> but listen, that's not even where it gets crazy. Here's where it truly gets crazy. I talked about this already. The line of law being three cents per bottle. The Coumarin being one cent per bottle. But here's another one. The Perfumer's Holy Grail. Hedowin. Guess how much? Six cents. That violet powdery vibe that comes from this fragrance comes from Beta Ionine. Eight cents. The most expensive part of this fragrance, which you're going to pick up when you smell it, is that sandalwood. It comes from real sandalwood oil, and that costs 75 cents. Not even up to a dollar. If you factor in the alcohol, Perfumer's alcohol, the packaging, the entire bottle costs anywhere from $15 to $35 to produce retailing at around $400. And I'm not a mathematician, but that's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times markup. Now, if you compare it to the fake Louis Vuitton fragrance, instead of the sandalwood, they use propylene glycol, an industrial solvent that costs a penny, not expensive at all, right? The perfumer's holy grail, three cents. A rose acetate, four cents. A cheaper musk, eight cents. The whole load, you're looking at 24 cents. With cheap packaging, the fake fragrances, cost anywhere from two to four dollars to produce. So yeah, to your nose, they smell 90% similar. They look the same, unless you have the original and you pay attention to the details. But in the lab, the light years apart. Now for the first couple minutes, they smell similar. But after that, the real one's a little bit more complex with the ingredients. Now for the bond number nine, same story. Same story, y'all. The real Greenish Village leaned on a fruity floral molecule that cost pennies. You have things like hydroxy citronelle, linalyl butyrate, Gamma Decalacton, which is basically the peachy softness. You're looking at $15 to $30 to produce this fragrance, retailing at $400, $500, right? Here's where I get pissed off. If restaurants marked up their food 50 times, people would riot. If Apple sold a $20 iPhone for the thousands of dollars, it would make headlines. But with fragrance, we brag about it. We brag about it, right? We brag about it. We flex the markup as if paying more is luxury, as if paying more makes us actually more luxurious. It doesn't. And this is why dupe houses are winning. I know you guys have heard the saying, yesterday's price is not today's price. Well, yesterday's dupes are not today's dupes. Brands like Afnan, Latafa, Armaf, they don't sell fantasy, they sell the smell. They copy the backbone and sometimes boost the concentration, sometimes even improve the performance, but they only charge $40 instead of $400. You can't tell me these luxury brands can't do the same thing, but it's because nobody actually held them accountable. And that's why <laughs> nearly a quarter of Amazon's top selling fragrances today are Arabian brands, Middle Eastern fragrances. The people have already spoken. Either you increase your value as a luxury fragrance or you take your price down. 
Now, because I'm talking about luxury fragrances in this manner, you might sound like I'm for the fakes that I got from DHgate. I'm not. Before you jump on the bandwagon of just getting reps and fakes from DHgate, slow down. What Bobby Valentino say? Slow down. The ingredients in the fakes, it gets dark. Don't confuse dupes and with fakes. Dupes are not fakes. When I tested them, they carried a much bigger problem than the price. The GCMS showed high levels of limonene and linalol, which is far above the safety limits. At, at the doses that are in these fragrances, bro, they're going to oxidize and burn through your skin <laughs> eventually. Instead of perfumers alcohol, they used industrial solvents like propylene glycol, even methanol. And even the same chemical that you can find in antifreeze that you put in your car. Also, we detected heavy trace chemicals like lead, arsenic, cadmium, which were from like dark, dirty supply chains. And when I closely looked at the juice for the fake ones, it had some floating particles in them, almost like pulp. But it's not pulp. It's actually more microbial contamination, bacteria, yeast, mold in the fragrance. I can only imagine what happens to it when the temperature changes. This thing might be too toxic for your skin. Now the price is enticing, but it's not worth the health issues, especially if you're spraying this directly on your skin and you're inhaling this into your lungs. No bueno, it's not good. So yes, luxury may scam your wallet, but the fakes can definitely hurt your body.